guys and girls, this is the original High Drive, Sati Gill. We're going to another one of our films today. We're going to be talking about something that I'm very, very passionate about, and that's the Presa Canario. Boom! Around the early 1990s, I started looking at Mastiff breeds around 91. The Cane Corsos, uh, the Apollo Mastiff, Presa Canario also. In them times, there weren't, number one, there weren't many of them breeds here. And if they were, they were more show type or they didn't have the right health. A good friend of mine showed me uh, a picture of Canary Dog. A good friend is uh, Bruce Hodge. He showed me uh, an encyclopedia. So we started to look at the Canary dog I started researching so I started watching videos of press canarios in Germany it was very exciting for me to see mastiffs being work similar to herders German shepherds what I was used to I came from an IPO club so I was seeing presses that I was impressed with and it's sort of slowly as my search began from early 90s to be honest I want to tell you the actual the true story is when I first like saw my real life presser canario, yeah? Yeah. It's cool, you know, you have bomba. The first time I met uh, I saw and met a presser canario was a good friend of mine it's called Daryl. I actually went to collect a German Shepherd from him and saw a Tiger Bindle press canario in his van. I asked if I could uh, have a little test and have a little bite and he introduced me to John Young. From there uh, we started training and I started researching more of the press canario breed. So from there I visited the very famous, uh, one of the few people to actually visit, the Arima Koto Kennels, Daniel Koto and Valeria his wife. Me and my wife went to visit the kennels, went to look at some of the dogs. I was very impressed and while I was there I got a call of a, a J7 dog that was coming up for rehoming. Daryl called me so I agreed from there the dog was called J7 Scrunch. Then I re uh, re acquired my first breast canary puppy from John Young, J7 Kennels. The uh, pup was called J7's Cruise, a very strong dog. I was the first person in the UK to pass Cruise through security testing, not one but two institutes as NASDU and the British Institute of Professional Dog Trainers. I was the first person to take uh, J7's Cruise to Germany from, from England and pass the ZWP1 and also enter night clubs in Berlin. Then I was visiting Arne Pollemeyer in Germany who is the head of, of president of the ABDEB. Uh, became good friends, still have good friends. I became the only, I mean the only, yes. uh, ABDEB club in the UK with the biggest event, uh, not in Europe but I think the world. Last year we had 540 entries and something that we're very passionate about to bring the Presa Canario uh, to a higher level is the Presa Canario Cup. Boom. Huh? You have to sip tea first, innit? it? <laughs> and the throat get dry, innit? it? <laughs> As a result of my passion and dedication, I am the only approved ABD breeder in the UK. Yeah, the ABD Breeding Commission is I've received because I've done everything according to the ABD Club for breeding. So then I was able to make my own De Los Cinco Rios Club. De Los Cinco Rios, someone, uh, what does that mean? It means from the five rivers. How do you say my background of your parents on that? Family tree from the Punjab in India. They've got five rivers, so I thought it would be a fitting name. So after many years of uh, my passion, dedication, training in Germany, visiting many kennels and events in Spain, I made a decision to become an approved breeder, kennel, well, under the ABD flag, uh, which is Arne Polomaya's breed club with uh, Press Canario. The ABD, there's one that I'm a member of the ABD, DB, yeah, which is the Press Canario Club. My training facilities here is a member of the club. We're the only, like I said before, the only ABD EV approved training club. The other thing is that I'm an approved breeder. I'm the only approved breeder in the UK. Hopefully, there'll be many more follow suit. It can only make the Presa Canario a better breed. Why? Why is it? Because we believe in, me personally, I believe in what we have to do to be able to breed. And a lot of people just don't want to follow because it's, uh, 
the pressure canary has become uh, the new cash cow or it has been this you know when i first started in the press canario there's possibly two three breeders in the uk uh, who were doing it properly and now everybody seems to be breeding the press canario that possibly haven't even visited the islands or, or spain i spent a lot of time uh, a lot of money traveling shows in alicante madrid tenerife uh, Germany, you know, been all over just to make a few. To have a breeding female, what do you have to do? Uh, because you can't just, you can go to Arn and you say, I want to be a proof breeder, and you say, you, one, you ain't got a press canaria. You have to get a press canaria, female. Two, you have to pass all the breed tests, health tests, bike ride, type test. Then that female will get a certification allowing you to breed. And at the moment, I've got two females that have passed the certification. Uh, Anita, my original female that we'll film later, she's also won the Press Canario Cup in, in the female version. It's, uh, you have to have a female that's done all the health tests, hips, elbows, uh, teeth, heart rate, uh, the full health test of the female. At least the minimum ZWP1, which is our breed test, which is a surprise attack, long send, which we talked about, we're gonna. That's another video we'll be doing later. It's just on the ZWP, which is our breed test, the ZWP one and two. Then there's the type test, the type test. Then there's the 25 kilometer bike ride. It's not easy, and I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people don't follow, because a lot of females and males will not pass the tests. That's the main reason. It uh, costs a lot of money nowadays, time, patient, just for the betterment of the breed, you know? Yeah. Hey! Hey! So, le le leading on from uh, our trial, one of my favorite and what I'm passionate about is the Presser Canario Trophy. We separate it from males to females. We ask all breeders within the UK come and test your dogs or train your dogs show us we what we are we're always as a club looking for new blood this is what people don't understand you know that can't keep being into a corner if we if someone comes with a female i don't care who read it or where it's from if it comes wins the press canario trophy good luck to them I, like like i said i'm very passionate um about the breed and my accomplishment uh, accompaniment <laughs> accompaniment <laughs> so i'm very proud of what i've accomplished over the years uh, within the breed one of my highlights was winning the presser canario female competition which is my base female i've won the trophy with her and to current at the moment she's had two breedings which we'll go into more detail later what the pups have accomplished. As you can see from the trophy cabinet, I've uh, done very well with uh, all of my Presser Canarios uh, here in the UK and abroad. I've just, I'm a beginner breeder actually uh, within the Presser Canarios. I've only done uh, two, two litters so far, A and B. Uh, a is showing very promising sign. I've kept one female back, which you'll, you'll see her in action later in the video. She's uh, passed all her breeding rights now. Uh, that's April de los Cinco Rios. Uh, her brother, Buster, passes ZWP 1 and 2. Health tests, phenomenal. Uh, uh, we, we've got to look into that more, but at the moment, according to the BVA scores, he scored a 0 0 on the hips, 0 0 on the elbows. And we can talk about that more, or people can ask me or look into it. The, it's one of the most important things is the health test for a functional pressure canario. You can't have a functional pressure canario if you do not do the health test or the hips are no good. Hi guys, it's the high drive again, Sati Gill. We're going to talk about my first ever breeding female that passed all the tests for the ABD EV breeding rights. This is Sunita Dellarina. She's passed everything, all her health tests, working tests. She's done very well and the main thing is hopefully she'll be pregnant again so she's had two litters two litters the first litter is doing very well health wise and working ability which i'm very he uh, happy about I'm just building up my kennel i bought another female to add to the kennel with a slightly different bloodline you'll see her working as well and talking about her second litter we 
called the bee litter, also doing very well. I don't keep back a female this time because, like I said, hopefully she's pregnant. I'm doing a repeat breeding, but the size is slightly different. So I'll keep the female from there. The bee litter is uh, 14, 15 months now, and they're all doing very well. Right guys, now it's time for the high drive stuff. I'm going to swap some dogs around. Time for some action, a bit of fun, to see these girls working. Don't forget guys, biggest event in the UK is starting April 29th, ABD EV night trials and most specially Saturday is the Presser Canario Cup split into two groups, male and female. So if you're interested in the Presser Canario, thinking about the Presser Canario, want to ask questions about it, people that own the breed, come and have a look, free of charge, spectators are free. of what the Presser Canario can do. It's not all about the uh, protection. They can also be companion dogs, family guardians, good with all the family. That's the uh, ABD EV's uh, principles on the Presser Canario. We need to have a balanced animal with a strong, good character, you know, not overly aggressive, uh, defensive, shy, guard dog type. I don't like the word aggressive. When it needs to work, protect it can be. Yeah, protect, protect when it needs to protect uh, yeah. if it's been trained that way. My very first litter I've got, one of the puppies I placed was a little bit quieter, slower with, a, with actually a first time Presser Canario owner. And uh, they're very happy with him that he's social. He's um, tolerant of strangers, not, not, not aggressive at all, but he does a job at home as a guardian. Bloody hell. <laughs> and remember guys, always stay happy, always stay high drive, work your dogs, not your mouth. <laughs>